even every artist that you've mentioned, you you have something to say about uh, their style or their contribution yes. in music. So many people, even music lovers and people who you know create music, they listen, but you go to a different level of listening. I mean, yes. you you don't just listen to a song that you like, but you learn something about that Absolutely. artist. So what has been your impetus in the way that you study music? I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did say that. I love it. Yes, get oh into goodness. it. Impetus, okay. Um, what did you, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he didn't know what I said. He just loves the word. Yeah. Well, I got a few more with those yeah, that's from. good. That's the, I'll try using that in a sentence tomorrow, but, okay? But your, uh, the way that you listen to music yes. is, is beyond just, uh, and I don't want to ascribe superficiality to everybody else, right. but you go to another level of listening uh, where it's not just the song, but you, I'm listening to how you recognize what a particular artist is good for throughout right. his right. music. Well, that's so. not a great feat. That's the least I could do. The majority of the artists who are out now and even up and coming artists do not realize the validity in having, first of all, accent and vocabulary to be able to articulate your thoughts instead of saying, you know what I'm saying every three minutes. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? You have to be able to uh, go back in order to be launched forward. Be progressive, be innovative, but you must study your catalog. You must. Because if you don't have that foundation, you're just another wind of doctrine, so to speak. And that's what a lot of the, the music is doing right now. It's fast food. It's McDonald's. The, the songs don't stay on the charts more than three or four weeks before the kids move because there's really no one out there um, that's being accepted in the commercial market now with a message that's strong. Um, just the current market of the music industry right now, if I don't become a catalyst for pushing for catalog and people studying their craft and the artists that came before them. If I'm not out here doing this, we're just going to have a generation that's fruity looped out. And what wow. I mean by that is that's a, a program where they just basically cut and paste pre-recorded snippets or audio files and arrange them in their own sequence and call it original or say they're a producer. Now, I'm not knocking that, but I am saying producing to me is more than just cutting and pasting. It's putting the right people together. It's putting the right instruments together. It's putting the right thought together. Uh, it's basically a director inside of a musical studio. And if you can't see the vision and take that artist to a place, pull something out of that artist that they didn't even know was there, you're just basically a, a beat pimp. Wow. So after everyone sleeps with that style of beat, you lose your identity because you have nothing that comes from an, an authentic place. And so you have artists such as a Whitney Houston or a Janet Jackson or that would be with the Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis who developed and pulled what they pulled out of her from a real place. You try to place her with something that's just the hot beat of the moment, you're going to lose the magic yeah. because they're not directing and pulling the best out of that artist. So for example, right now, if I was to work with Janet Jackson, the first thing, and I actually am working <laughs> with her with Rodney Jerkins, the first thing I would do is try to uh, get her to focus now on vocals. We already know she can dance. We obviously know she has a fantastic body. We know that she's a, a fantastic entertainer and she has a legacy. What would really shock audiences right now? Is it her taking off more clothes? Is it her doing a brand new video? No, we know what she can do there. But imagine if Janet actually sang. If we heard her not whisper, yeah. if we heard her sing and really pull something out of her, because I hear her yell all the time on tour. So you, if you can yell, you can sing loud. I would love to see that happen. I would love to see uh, someone like a baby face be able to be put in a Latin situation. Someone with that type of voice, R&B wouldn't appreciate the silk that's on his voice in the songwriting style. I would love to see him go into a Latin direction. You know, taking people and putting them in new environments so they can reinvent themselves instead of trying to keep up with these kids and delineating and d diminishing yeah. uh, literally their legacy to try yeah. to keep up with kids. It's their job and our job to be the trailblazers in the industry. And that's why they must study their history so they can move forward.